My passion for marine microbes really stems from curiosity about this world that I can't see, but I have tools available to me to probe and interrogate what it's like to be in that world. I'm Nicholas Swin. I'm a doctoral student at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and we're currently in the Marine Biotechnology Building at Campus Point. Marine microbes are tiny microscopic organisms that inhabit the oceans. The oceans are teeming with marine microorganisms um, and they're invisible to our naked eye. If we think about a fifth of a teaspoon of water, a milliliter of water, there are um, over a million cells. The world that we live in, just thinking about the oceans, is, is certainly a microbial world. Nick is a, a graduate student in, in my group. His specific project is to study microbial interactions with dissolved organic matter in the North Atlantic during um, a phenomenon referred to as the spring phytoplankton bloom. So in the North Atlantic, we have one of the most conspicuous biological events on the planet. One of the biggest biological events that happens on our planet, and it happens every year, where lots and lots of microbial growth takes place, fixing CO2 into organic matter. The amount of carbon in marine dissolved organic carbon is equivalent to the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And what Nick is doing is studying the fate of that organic matter um, through interactions between bacteria plankton and dissolved organic matter. Why is uh, um, dissolved organic matter important to microbes? It's a food source. Heterotrophic bacteria consume organic compounds as their carbon and energy source. So even though microbes are extremely small, they grow very fast, their metabolism is very high. We see that dissolved organic carbon uh, can build up in certain parts of the ocean. In some places, it, it gets mixed down to depth. It can either remain at depth and, and contribute to the ocean as being um, a sink for CO2, or sometimes we see it disappear. And we think it disappears because microbes in the deep ocean can use it. Um, these microbes have something special about their metabolism that their surface counterparts they, that don't have. We're really interested in who those microbes are and how they can degrade that really complex material.